Oh, holy crap. The top of the line laptop market has been expanding, even exploding in recent years. And it seems now pretty much everybody and their dog has a laptop with a GTX 1080 desktop edition, or even two of them in SLI. So how do you set yourself apart from the crowd? Well, Acer decided to conjure forth the purest, maddest gaming laptop ever created. Gaze upon the Predator 21X and tremble, puny mortals. The Master Keys Pro keyboard lineup from Cooler Master is available in three sizes, each in white or RGB flavors. Check them out at the link below. All right, so we really can't go any further without addressing the display. It's freaking amazing. It's a 21 inch curved ultra wide display on a laptop. When you open this thing up, it is immediately clear it means business. While it does have a little bit of backlight bleed, it's bright, has great viewing angles and vivid colors, and the 120 hertz refresh rate along with G-Sync compatibility cements it as the laptop gaming display to end all laptop gaming displays. And speaking of games, if your game dips below 120 FPS, well, you can pretty much blame the developers, since this baby packs more power than your average split atom. Dual power bricks feed the two GTX 1080s in SLI, a Core i7-7820HK quad core, two NVMe SSDs in RAID 0, and 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. So these specs and the monitor make playing frantic games like Doom extra awesome with no perceptible input lag and colors popping like the overwrite pustules dotting the cranium of a demon. IO, while we're at it, is also near desktop class. But there's a bunch of way cooler stuff that we want to get to, so we're going to kind of gloss over that. In games, this thing crushed everything we threw at it, regularly getting into the hundreds of frames per second while running at ultra settings. The ultra wide display made all those frames even more sweet, except in Deus Ex and DirectX 12, where things outside of the 16 by 9 aspect ratio kind of de rendered. Now, since Acer was the first one to include an ultra wide display on a laptop, we had to actually step it down to 16 by 9 and rerun all of our benchmarks in order to do direct comparisons against anything else. Good news for Acer though, even compared to other top laptops, the Predator 21X took no prisoners. Although to be clear, it is still not quite able to take on a desktop running GTX 1080s in SLI. And it should also be noted that these benchmarks were taken with the fans on what we call jet engine mode. More about that soon. So if you expect it to be quiet, you might see frame rates that are a little bit lower. Thermals then. The Predator 21X's thermals surprisingly actually aren't that amazing when you leave it on the auto setting. It does keep it nice and quiet, but it falls into the same CPU thermal limiting issues that all of the hyper laptops seem to run up against, with a bit of throttling when running IDA64. But if you have the fans to max, aka Hope you have active noise cancelling headphones because an F-18 is taking off in your backyard mode. The internals are kept nice and cool, which you'd hope would be the case because there are five fans and nine freaking heat pipes. I mean, don't get me wrong here. With a machine like this, I expect you're gonna love the noise. 
Because this isn't Civic with a hole in the muffler, this is Ferrari V12 as it screams at over 8,000 RPM. And you can make it roar anytime you want with the, uh, oh yeah, four speakers and two subwoofers. This is the loudest laptop I've ever heard in every possible way. Even the keyboard is fully mechanical with Cherry MX Brown switches and with the wrist rest attached, it actually feels like typing on a standalone mechanical keyboard. Now the astute among you might have noticed, there isn't a trackpad. But have no fear, all you gotta do is lift up the number pad and turn it around if you've forgotten your mouse. Pretty sweet. Now the Predator 21X also features Toby eye tracking, which allows for dynamic lighting and aiming, depending on where you're looking. And as more games begin to support it, I can see this becoming a really cool feature, but at the moment, it doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Routine disassembly of the 21X is actually relatively easy, with only one screw required to remove the top panel, giving you access to the spinning storage and half of the RAM. Opening up the bottom requires removing three screws and gives you access to the four M.2 drive bays plus the rest of the RAM. This is all that can be easily accessed though, and any other internal components are only possible to reach through pretty much a full disassembly. So then, by this point in the video, you must be thinking to yourself, wait a second, Linus, at 17.8 pounds, isn't portability kind of out the window? And the answer is no. Fortunately, Acer thought of this, and they included this incredibly convenient custom Pelican case with every 21X. Its compact size and ergonomic wheels and handles mean taking the 21X with you on the go is almost simple. And it can fit in the trunk of your average van with ease. Joking aside though, the 21X is still considerably easier to pack up than a full desktop computer. And with the hardware it's packing, that is really not an unjust comparison. So if you want full on performance at a LAN party, or if you move around a fair bit, it's actually a pretty incredible option. I was slightly worried that the curved monitor would be easily damaged in more casual transportation though, like say in a backpack, but during our testing, we actually found that it remained quite sturdy even when you put pressure on it. Using it on your lap, <laughs> go figure, it is a laptop still, is surprisingly comfortable. That is to say, until your legs start to go numb. And if you roll up in the coffee shop to do some work, it does work, even if you might get a couple of funny looks. But bottom line then, should you get one? Well, really it's more of a question of can you get one? To which the answer is probably no. First of all, it costs $9,000, which is enough to get you at this time, 608 shares in Acer or two mini trucks. And second, they're only making 300 of them, of which I already have one. So if you didn't order one already, chances are you're out of luck. But the Acer Predator 21X isn't about practical things like price, availability, noise, weight, thinness, general usability, professional appearance, it's a chest thumping piece. This was about Acer delivering the craziest gaming experience that anyone's ever seen in a laptop. And I have to say this, mission accomplished Acer. I absolutely love this thing. Dollar Shave Club, the concept here is very, very simple. Hair grows out of your face or other parts of your body, you gotta remove it. So you might as well do it on the cheap 
and in a way that's convenient. And if you head over to dollarshaveclub.com right now, we've got it linked in the video description, you can get a trial! Woo! Being a member is awesome. They deliver amazing razors directly to your door, meaning that you can afford to shave with a fresh blade anytime you want. Try it with their Dr. Carver Shave Butter, which goes on clear, and maybe check out their aftershave, and uh, <laughs> while you're at it, maybe their peppermint-scented butt wipes, One Wipe Charlies. So if you're in the US, Canada, and Australia, you can get your first month of any razor for just a buck, with free shipping after that, and it's only a few bucks a month. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you didn't, well, there's that button, but if you did, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured, if you can, <laughs> at the link in the video description. <laughs> also down there is a link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.